Hello, I'm Max Hale. Today I want to show you how much better you can make your objects if they have a symmetry and round corners when you're drawing them, and I'll just show you how. It's a good idea to try and practice your ellipses and your circles at every opportunity. One of the things that helps you is if you use your finger to rest onto the pad and use your whole arm rather than just your hand, which restricts your movement. So if you use your whole arm, you will get much better circles and ellipses. If I just show you this, there's an ellipse, there's an ellipse, there's a circle, there's a circle. Far easier to do these circles and ellipses once your hand is moving and your whole arm is following it. If I just show you one more time here, how much better ellipses are when your whole arm is moving. We have a clean piece of paper here, and I'd like to demonstrate how we can make those circles work for you and ellipses. We're going to do a bottle. Now, this is a wine bottle, so it'll be quite long and thin. I'm going to start with the top, doing an ellipse, which is the top of the bottle, and I'm going to draw a center line, which enables you to see exactly where the bottle is going to be. If I assume that the a, a wine bottle has about a third and two thirds, so that's where the shoulder of the bottle will be, I'm going to use a circle to describe the shoulder of the bottle. So I'll do my circle, like so, and I'm going to continue the line down from the neck of the bottle so they hit the top of the circle. That then indicates exactly where I need to elaborate that wonderful circle. I'm going to take those lines down to the bottom, like so, and I estimate that that is approximately the bottom of my bottle. So I'm going to use an ellipse to create a shape there, and then what I will do is I'll elaborate slightly on these lovely curves to create that bottle shape. So there's that lovely shape there, the, the lovely curves of those, sh the shoulder of the bottle. I can straighten these up now, bring that line down, and then just as it tucks under, those ellipse just enables me to see where that bottom of the bottle comes. It makes it nice and beautifully shaped. If you can see, I've drawn right the way through there, which enables me to make sure that the bottle is complete. If you do that, you stop ending up with those flat lines with the corners on if you just draw it. It's a good idea to use your whole arm to do the circle and your finger to rest on. Don't forget that. Quite crucial, but it also enables you to be free but also get a very, very sharp, accurate drawing of your wine bottle.